Calumet, Lorium, Keweenaw Public Schools Board of Education approved their COVID-19 plan before starting the new school year last night. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay spoke with the superintendent today and joins us now in the studio with more. Rebecca. CLK School Superintendent Chris Davidson says they are following the recommendation of the MI Safe Star plan. In phases four and five, the school is given the option to offer in-person schooling or online. Understanding that there would be uh, a, a potential increase um, for students and families seeking alternative modes of education. We added some virtual options to kind of create more of a robust um, virtual alert and learning menu of options for our families in hopes that Although those that are making the very difficult decision to not send their, their children to school in a face-to-face -face learning environment will have the best option possible. Davidson says they've had parents fill out surveys on what their thoughts are on how their children will go back to school. He says they are still looking through those but say there is interest in both options. We haven't set any enrollment deadlines yet. Um, I'm meeting with school staff right now to finalize the formal enrollment process um, for families to opt, formally opt in what they want. At that time, we'll, we'll set a date so that we can have all the paperwork and, and things that are required for, for school to start on, on September 8th. A decision was also made that face masks and coverings will not be required for students and staff. So the way that it's worded um, in the roadmap is that you know students and staff should wear uh, face masks in certain locations uh, under certain circumstances. So, um, so yeah, I, we understand the safety benefits of of wearing face masks and social distancing, and so we're going to work together to to do our absolute best um, in encouraging those best safe practices. But um, also understanding that um, there are different opinions in our community and phase five allows for those difference in opinions to be respected and observed and which is why we chose to go for that flexibility so that we could roll out a plan that we thought was the best fit for the majority of the CLK community. If the area is moved back to phase four, face coverings will be required. The school says they will provide masks for people who like to have one and don't have their own. Reporting in the studio, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.